Now this time I actually found one pretty okay uh, Intel Core to Duo E4600. It can do 3.6 gigahertz with uh, like uh, under 1.35 volts, maybe 1.32, 1.33, so it's definitely best out of a few dozen of these CPUs. I don't remember how my old CPU did uh, in terms of uh, like water overclocking, but based on the results on HWBot, like voltage, uh, voltage requirements, it should be pretty okay. So I will briefly test the CPU now on LN2. We are looking for well over 5 gigahertz, but the FSP range isn't that high. So when you bin the 4600, you mostly bin the core, because the max multiplier is uh, 12, not 9 like on the E4300. The CPU, the 4300 that I had, it was the best out of uh, Tapakas binning, and if I remember the numbers correctly, that one did 3.2 at 1.3 volts and 3.6 required over 1.5 volts, if I remember correctly. So this one should be better core-wise. FSP, we shouldn't hit the limit, so we only need like 450, 400 something for 5.4 validation, so it's not really required. So let's see how this does. So Rampage Extreme, Team Finland Edition, Japanese version still in unknown state. I will uh, try to figure that out. Like, can I do anything or is the motherboard pretty much gone? Corsair Dominator CDX2 memory from Sam Tabaka. NVIDIA 6500GT for the monitor signal with capture card as always. And see Sonic Prime 1300 watt platinum. And Kimping Cooling F1 Dark CPU container and the pink thermal paste from Thermal Grizzly. So I'll start cooling down towards like minus 100 and then let's see how this does. Okay, so far pretty okay sign, 4.8 very easy, 1.86 volts, PLL only at 1.52, VCO is set 1.86 measures at 1.8635, so pretty okay, target is Somewhere over 5 gigahertz, we can start just doing these runs. And I need to check on the phone where we are standing. HW bar. I actually remember I did this uh, a bit over one year ago, these uh, numbers or these results. I still have the 1024 m so 5240 is the target frequency. Don't know how much we can move inside the uh, inside the OS. So this should be 4.9. So close to 5, we can run this once. I think it was 15.3, the target score in W Prime 32. Team's tag from Austria didn't manage to beat my 1024M. To glaze the container. Okay. No, no, it was 15.031, so close to 600 milliseconds away. So this number is actually pretty close to the truth. Okay, 15046 It's close, yeah It's roughly the same, 10 megahertz lower than tag I think it was 524 So this is 523, but if this passes, this will be the new top score, I'm pretty sure But it's tough
Yeah, 14, 8, 9. Yeah, finally the first top score with the Intel Core to Duo E4600. W prime 32, 14.89 at 523. Previous top score by Tag from Austria, 15.031 at 5240, I think. Memory doesn't matter that much, but uh, yeah, pretty awesome. Okay, that's 1891. So 30 milliseconds better than previous top score by Tag. 5260, he was at 5279, 20 megahertz higher than me. So now we could try briefly just 1M. To see how this goes. One AM is ten point eight twelve. Okay, fifty milliseconds better already. So pretty good. I don't know if he has backups. He used uh, same frequency for the 1M, so we are lower and we got faster. So, yeah, not bad at all. Okay, let's try. Okay, this could be the fastest. Uh, is it Allendale run in Superbike 32M, 9 minutes 28.344. Previous top score by Tag from Austria at 9 minutes 32.843. So this is uh, like a four and a half second improvement, but a lower frequency. He used 5280, I used 5260. Memory, mine is a bit better. So it's definitely the memory that makes the difference. OS, no huge difference, I think. So pretty good. So now I'm only missing the validation. F7, F7. I think we got it, I think we got it. We need 5-4. Almost. Seven nine seven. Definitely an awesome CPU. Yeah, no big difference. No big difference whatsoever. Compared to two different uh, options in the OS. I need to check. One four eight six point five four eight six point oh three one. So yeah, no huge difference whatsoever. It's still better, but I haven't been able to meet my old efficiency. Oh well, that's pretty much it, I guess. Okay, it actually went better than I expected after uh, starting 
for a while with this CPU. I first thought it's uh, not going to be good enough, but I managed to do all of the important top scores I wanted to break. Although the efficiency in W Prime 1024M could be a little bit better. It's sometimes very good, sometimes not so good. But anyways, so uh, close to 5.4 on the validation. I'm sure 5.4 is possible, but it takes a lot of time. Some weird issues along the way in both operating systems. Even a safe speeds, what can run W Prime all day. Sometimes if I open ZFSP, etc., it will just crash with 9C uh, blue, uh, blue screen of def uh, error code. So I think the validation was like 5392, 5393, something like this. I already checked the validation on the website and it works. Then PyFast, I think it was 18.91. I didn't actually run PyFast that many times. 1M 10.765, 32M, a very nice four and a half second improvement. The first uh, sub nine and a half minute run for any Allendale CPU, I think. I'm not I'm not actually sure what I did with the E2160 and those CPUs. So it's actually pretty close. I think it's the first ever sub nine and a half minute, if I remember correctly, but it's at least the fastest E4600. W Prime 1024M, so uh, two and a half, two point something second improvement, I think, two to three seconds. And W Prime 32, the fastest run was 14.797, which is a very nice 230 millisecond improvement over the previous rank one score made by TAG from Austria. So yeah, at least I got the results for now. The previous top scores by TAG were made in January of last year, so around one year ago. I did the previous results before that at the end of 2022, like December or November of 2022. So now I managed to take them back. I have been trying to find many different Allendale CPUs like 4500, E2140, E2180. So there are many chips or models still remaining if I want to smash all of them. But yeah, I think I have uh, the most like popular ones. Oh, well, not E4500, which was relatively popular. So I need to just uh, buy and bin more of those. But yeah, so now that you are watching this video, all of the important, all of the top scores are already uploaded to hardwarebot.org. So definitely check them out if you are interested in them. Please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Maybe check out my Patreon page as well if you want to support my work and join my Patreon Discord channel. But yeah, otherwise, Thanks for watching some of my legacy overclocking content once again, and I will see you on the next one.